You ready? Are you smiling big? Smile. Hi there, I'm Kayla, and today I'm in the garden with my big helper, Tristan, right? Uh-huh. Are we excited about today's project? Yes, I am. <laughs> today, um, well, actually, in the past, we've been very relaxed about composting for the garden. Um, it's been a lot of collecting of leaves from all of our trees. We've got maples, and we've got hackberry and oak. Um, kitchen scraps, which is part of your chores, is to haul all the kitchen scraps back here. My coffee juice. Coffee grounds and eggs and things from the vegetables. Or anything that rotted in the garden. It, yes, absolutely. Cleaning out stuff from the garden goes in here. Um, grass from mowing comes back here. Sometimes shredded paper comes back here as well. Um, we water it. We turn the piles a couple times in years um, during winter and during summer, of course, when it's hot. But it's never been a serious approach to compost. It's been very relaxed, let's call it that. But today that ends, right? Yep. Right. We made a come worm on. bin. Yeah, we made a worm bin. And what it took, we found three of these we actually had around the house. They are the um, roughneck storage boxes that are 18 gallons. And what did you drill? Holes. Oh, yes, thank you. What are the holes for? The worms to go through in air. Uh, yes, these specifically are the air holes. Do you remember what size bit we used? This is important. <laughs> uh, it was a quarter? three, almost, I couldn't find it. So we used a three eighth inch. And in my opinion, I think these are gonna be plenty big enough for air for the worms all along the side. And then we also did it on the bottom as well, right? And why do we put holes on the bottom? So that the worms can go through layer and layer. Uh huh. Get so topic. all of the, well, this is a little heavy right now, but right now this one's all prepped as a new bed for our worms, right? And so what we have in here is paper. We've got some old grass that's in here. We've got the compost from behind me that's been, it's about halfway there. Um, and then we've got, of course, that lovely smelling fermenting, because I've been saving it for a little bit. Um, kitchen compost, the worms I've heard love fermenting. I'm still very new at this. We don't know what's gonna happen. But the best part is, what happened today? We got the worms! We got the worms, woohoo! And then the one other thing that's on the bottom of our worm bin, can you remember what it's for? Ooh, failure on the pop test. It's to catch all the worm juice, right? Well, yes, I know Worm pee, <laughs> right? <laughs> and what's our goal here? What are we trying to get out of this? Compost? Dirt. Yes, Compost. vermiculture, or ver worm castings. Which is actually what? Poop? Yeah, worm poop. <laughs> so, also known as black gold for the garden. It's supposed to be amazing, and I am so excited um, to get going. So, we got a box here. Let's get going. Okay, yeah, we've got a box, and we ordered a uh, thousand, because I'm like, go big or go home, um, a thousand red wigglers worms, and we got these from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. Um, I just saw a lot of great reviews. A lot of other people have used them, so I figure, hey, why not? Can you get it open? We didn't prep this part. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this first. This is like one of those opening. Wow, he really didn't want the worms to escape. Yeah, this is totally one of those opening videos. I thought they're just videos. Dirt in the... this but this is... isn't so cool as an iPhone or anything. No. Kind of cooler though. Okay, you ready? Wow, this is so good. Ah, hold out your hands. Come on, hold them out. <laughs> Are you ready? A thousand worms. Oh, I oh, see dirt. oh, there we go. Oh, look, they're Oh, small. you see all those worms? Yeah, they're tiny. Woo. So they're shipped to us in peat moss. Wow, they're wiggly too. <laughs> and um, that's a thousand worms. Wow, okay. I'm not going to count them all. There's some of the worms. <laughs> Come back so we'll focus on it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, very, very feisty looking worms. Um, I've read that they don't like sunshine, so they're just going to dig their ways on down. And, uh, wow, that's really, really cool looking. I did not think they'd be this big. I know, totally cool. So, we're going to um, enjoy this and see what happens and go from there. <laughs> Yay, worm castings. So it is uh, about three and a half weeks after we got the worms in. And I think it's time for a little visit just so you can see how they're doing. This is the second bin. Um, 
we have been putting in some compost scraps so that the worms have some fresh food on top and you can see them all squiggling around in there. And of course they're running in fear from the lights going, ah, bright lights, bright lights. Um, really cool, actually. It's kind of crackly sounding. So I've got right now, I've got watermelon rind in here. Um, this is pieces of, um, well, it's like, it, it's just like egg carton material, but that's not what uh, this was for. This was, of course, for um, getting our wine to us in one piece. Looks like a little slug. Yep, probably. Uh, Eggshells, um, stuff from the kitchen compost. Oh, and I have been grinding stuff up in the Vitamix before. Well, actually, I don't use my Vitamix for this. I have a secondary uh, blender that I am using for the um, worm food. <laughs> I don't really feel the need to use my, oh, look at that big clump of worms. I'd say we've got some amazing worms going on. Look at all of those. And it, it sounds almost, it almost sounds like a bowl of Rice Krispies. Okay, here's the um, initial layer that we poured the worms into. And we've got um, a little bit of grass left. We've got the, I mean, there's definitely plenty of stuff still in here that's identifiable. Uh, sticks, that was probably too big. I should, probably shouldn't have thrown that in. I'll just take that out. Um, ooh, that was an eggshell. <laughs> and see, and that's why I'm running it through the, the blender before I, oh heck, it's just warm poop. Um, that's why I'm running it through the blender first to get it nice and small because what I've been reading since then, it's been three and a half weeks. Um, the worms have very small mouths, so the smaller you can make everything, the better and the faster they'll be able to plow through it and eat everything. One more video for you here, one more clip. This is what it looks like underneath. There's definitely a lot of liquid down there. Um, I'm gonna scooch this over. There we go. Um, I do have a tendency to throw, um, you know, we do a French press coffee in the morning and I try to get as much liquid out, but there's always gonna be a lot of water in there. So this is probably half coffee water. Um, thankfully, I don't have a very terrible sense of smell, so this does not bother me in the least. My husband, on the other hand, he, uh, oh, drowning worm. Um, he likes to say that it reeks to high heaven. I disagree. To me, that smells like healthy plants. And, you know, I'm going to drain this so I can go use it in the garden today. All right, there you go. Three and a half week check-in. That looks really, really terrible. But, you know, I'm excited. I'm going to go put it all over my plants. <laughs> Talk to you later.